the joy of the Lord. I find that this joy is not dependent on my circumstances and that when I choose to look for positives, if things are difficult, I can find something to be thankful about when I look hard enough. This isn't saying that I don't acknowledge that sometimes life is challenging, sometimes it's overwhelming and difficult. My joy and strength comes from knowing that I am loved perfectly and not that I have to be perfect to be loved. My faults and failures cannot affect that love of Jesus to me. I remind myself that the joy is not dependent on me. Jesus loves me, he has forgiven me, and he delights in me. So that perfect love casts out my fears as I've proved that I can trust in God for the present and my future. And that brings me strength and consequently joy for me. For me personally, the lockdown has brought some good opportunities. The first being that while I have remained busy in my job, the fact that I'm working from home has allowed me to spend more time with my family than what I would normally be able to do. The second opportunity is the online worship that my cores are now offering. This has helped break down geographical boundaries and allowed me to not also attend the Clyde Bank uh, service, uh, but also able to attend the Salvation Army that I used to attend to in Northern Ireland. Um, and I'm, through that, I have the opportunity to connect worship with my parents and people who I grew up with. The lockdown has brought some challenges, uh, particularly being able to go and visit family. Uh, but despite of all the challenges and the good things that come away, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 to rejoice always. So I'll leave that with you. Rejoice always. Pray continually and everything give thanks. The Lord sustain me with his word and his promises. He make me trust him more, not to worry about everything, not to think about the worst, but remind me that he is in control. Because of that comfort from the Lord, I can do my job as a nurse to look after patients well, even they have a virus or not. The Lord sustain me with His love, love that's so abundant that keep me secure, keep me safe, and I feel assured that whatever happened, He will never leave me nor forsake me. The Lord sustain me with the Holy Spirit I know that I have a helper whatever the situation I'm in. When I see my colleague and patient so scared of, with uh, COVID-19, the Holy Spirit's always there to remind me to pray for them. I would like to thank God for everything. I get closer to Him. My God is alive and the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy.